back to my channel. So today's video, today's video, wow, um, is going to be a full face of Marc Jacobs. So I think the haul video is going up before this one, I hope. Um, but if you haven't seen it, I did a haul. Marc Jacobs had their whole brand on like 50% off, which is a fan tabulous. Um, so I bought a lot of stuff from them. And now I have a full face, except for mascara. Um, I thought that I had a mascara from them already, and turns out I got rid of it when I did my makeup declutter, um, which is fine. I have tested it before. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm just going to use a different mascara, maybe just not even use a mascara at all. I also don't have lashes. I don't even know if they came up with lashes, you know. I don't think so. Um, so don't come for me that. For me. Don't come for me with that. We've got everything else. we got... Uh, foundation, we got concealer, we got um, bronzer, blush, highlight, eyeshadow, brushes, um, we got powder, we got lipstick, um, yeah, so we got everything. We also got an eyeliner, and we don't have a brow product because we just don't do our brows, you know. These things are just freaking caterpillars already, so we don't need to do our brows. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so it turns out I also have a primer from them. So I have the Invincible Undercover Primer. So we'll start off with that. Okay, so I already know that I like this primer because I've used it many, many of times. It's a great primer. Feels very hydrating. Yeah, it, it's just a overall good primer. And I feel like it makes the foundation look very good. Foundation looks good on its own too, but I just feel like this just makes it look better. And I love like the packaging on this stuff. Like it's just so cute. So now we're going to go in with the foundation. You guys know that I've used this foundation before. I love it. It's so full coverage. It's just awesome. The only thing I find weird about it is the applicator. Like you have to twist it off and then you apply it and it's kind of got like a ball on the end. That's the only thing I find weird about this foundation, but other than that, I love it. Okay, so now that I look like um, Mrs. Doubtfire, I'm going to take a sponge and blend the remaining out. I like using a sponge after because it like takes away the remaining and like all the excess uh, foundation that you don't need, but it leaves the coverage. So now we're gonna be using the new, these just came out. Um, the Extra Shot Concealer X Foundations, but we're going to use them as concealer. I got two. I got one in 110 and one in 120. So I'm going to see which one works better for me. I was super excited to see these because I really wanted one. Um, but I didn't really want to spend $50 on them, even though I spent quite a bit on that foundation. Anyways, um... I didn't want to spend that much, and then when I saw that they were like 50% off, I was like, oh my god, I need to grab them. Okay, so I'm going to go in with 110 as my concealer, and then I'll be using 120 as a foundation shade for other videos. So super excited about that. 120 will be my foundation, and 110 will be my concealer. I'm glad that's how it worked out. It's definitely like that feeling of concealer where you're like, oh, this is going to go a long way. I think a little bit's going to go a long way. So let's find out. Holy crap. That is so full coverage. Can you see it? Oh, wow. Wow. 
that is so full coverage it's so beautiful absolutely love that this concealer is definitely a win hopefully it doesn't crease while I put the powder on so moving on this powder isn't my favorite powder in the world but it's still a really good powder um, this is the Marc Jacobs finish line invisible powder um, I don't really like the way you have to get the product out. It's like a net and you have to like push to get the product out. It's not really my favorite way, but also it kind of keeps it from like spilling everywhere. So that is like also a good thing. So I can see why they did that. So I'm just going to blend out any little creases if they, I don't see any, but like in case there are any. And then I was going to take, well, usually I just take the end of my brush and I just, pack that poke it and stuff and get the product out this is a really good product though that concealer is definitely a win for me Definitely a 100% win. I am so excited to be using that more often. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the bronzer. So I have two here, but I think I'm going to go in with the one that I haven't used before. So I have the Tantastic one. And then I also have this... Ooh! You know what I also want to try before I do that? Is the Eugene Accomplice... Um, foundation powder so I think I want to try that a little bit this is so cool so the brush is part of the packaging so you just pull it down like that that is so cool so I think oh and then you can pull this up and grab the brush too that is really cool packaging so I got this in shade Eugene so I think I'm just going to take a little bit and that it is giving me a little bit more like coverage even though I don't need more coverage because of this foundation already being very full coverage yeah I, I like this powder I'm definitely wanting to use it on its own at some point so maybe I'll test that like in the next video or something like that. But uh, yeah, I like that. Alright, so back to what I was saying is I got the uh, Tantalized Glow, which comes with the highlight, the bronzer, and the blush. Just dug my nail into that. So I actually... I'm just going to go in with both bronzers because we're going to be a bronzy person. And I am just taking the Real Techniques blush brush, but I'm using it as bronzer because I love getting in to the cheekbones. So I'm going in with Tantastic first. And now I'm going in with the tantalized glow oh that is so pretty it's a little more warm a tone and then the tantalize or tantastic does that make my nose look bigger okay so now I'm gonna go in with the blush and this blush looks so pretty this one looks so pretty so I'm just going to take an E4 from Morphe. That is so pretty. I think I had a little too much on my nose. And then now we're going to go in with the highlight. So this is definitely a pink, like pinky highlight. Rose gold. Super pretty though. So I'm going to take that on a... AOA Studio Brush. Mm. 
Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Now it is very pink, so you do have to be cautious with that. And it feels like it's been like very hardly pressed in there that you kind of have to like drag it out. You dig a little bit to get the product. But I don't mind when they're a little bit harder pressed. I kind of like that better than lightly pressed. That is so pretty. I love how my like face is turning out. Absolutely love that. Okay, so now we're moving on to the eyes. I'm going to be using the Provocator 710. <laughs> this is the Iconic palette. And it's just got quite a few pinks and then neutrals. So this is Say It with a style. Otherwise, you might as well stay or just stay in bed. So I wonder what we're going to do. Hmm. We're definitely going to be using their brushes. So I got three of the brushes. I got the shadow brush, the smudge brush, and the crease brush. So I think I'm going to start off by using with style. And I'm just going to apply that all over the crease. So now I think I'm going to go and deepen it in with the shade Otherwise with the same brush and I'm just going to do that a little bit lower. Taking a Morphe brush, I don't know which Morphe brush this is, I'm going to be taking a little bit of In Bed and just putting that on the outer corner. Just taking the crease brush, I'm just going to lightly blend that. So my camera stopped recording. So all I did is I took a little bit of Say It and I mixed it with Just Saiyan. Or sorry, You Might, which are two shimmer shades. And I'm just applying that with my finger to my lid. And then I'm going to take my smudge brush. Just kind of smudge it and blend it into the pink. Okay, lashes are on. And again, why do they look so round? You know what? Whatever. We have round eyes today. Um, so the last thing on this face that needs to be done is the lips. Now I do have a lot of lip glosses, but I don't really want to use a lip gloss for this look. So I'm just going to be using a lipstick. And I'm going to be using the Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Very pink look. I love their formula. It's so creamy. Okay, so now I was going to let my hair down. And this is the final look. Very pinky. I actually really like it. I haven't really worn a pink look in a while. I love this lipstick. It feels so like creamy, you know. It doesn't feel very drying on the lips. Love the bronzer. Love the blush. Love the highlight. This is definitely a really cute Valentine's Day look. Even though it's June. <laughs> but you know what? If you want Valentine's to be all the time, Valentine's will be all the time. But as you can tell by my nails, I'm excited for Halloween.
it's not always my thing. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this look. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what other full face brands you'd like me to do. Um, I really liked doing this video. I did a full face of e.l.f. before. I'll link it somewhere in the video or in the description. I don't know. I also did a full face of Glam Light and a full face of um, Shop Masse. I'm going to start making little... Um, what are they called? Playlists. I've been making playlists, um, so you can go and see all the playlists. Um, they should be up by the time this video is up. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I did do those kind of videos. So if you do like these videos, go check check those out. Um, definitely give this a video a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, or really just any videos in general. Just let me know what videos you guys want to see. To be honest, um, we're almost at 300, which means a lot. Um, Yes, so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to follow me on other social medias, Instagram is mbk underscore beauty underscore. My TikTok is mbk underscore beauty. If you'd like to follow me on business socials on my, on my, if you'd like to follow me on business socials, my Instagram is Caitlin underscore cosmetics. My TikTok is Caitlin cosmetics. And my website is Caitlin cosmetics dot ca. And, uh, yeah. Uh... I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.